So this thing caught my attention. I saw it, I think, floating around Amazon. It's called the TouchJet Pond. It is a touch projector. Try to formulate what you think that means. Essentially, the projected screen is touchable with this pen right here. So as you might expect, you're playing uh, Fruit Ninja with a pen on a giant, it's it's bizarre. It's cool though. It's got Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, USB, and HDMI. So there's a number of different ways to interface with it. They're using it to, uh, well, I guess spice up their dad's look there, as you could tell. That's the same guy, I think. They used the same guy with his family as they did with the annual report. She's crossing out the results though. I don't know if that's good for him. Maybe he's not gonna get that Christmas bonus. Okay, let's open it up and see how this thing works. I'm excited to touch a projection screen. Ooh, it all fits into this carrying case here. Whoa, that is smaller than I expected it to be. Look at that. So you've got some controls on the side here, a tripod mount on the bottom. It also looks like a little camera there. Maybe that's how it maps your input with the pen, a USB input, HDMI, audio out, and DC in. There is a, that's mini HDMI, I think, to full-size HDMI adapter. If I wanted to put a full-size HDMI source in there, like a laptop or uh, a game console, something like that. I could do so. Here's some batteries right here. Ah, for the pens. Ooh, those are substantial. That's a hefty pen right there. Kind of like a cigar over here. This part screws out and batteries go in there as well. And it looks like there's one more cable here. Micro USB to female USB, uh, like a USB thumb drive maybe that has files on it. Video files, something that you want to access over that port. I'm going to do, I'm going to get this baby rigged up now. Dim a few lights and see what we're working with. So I've got it rigged up there. I'm sort of shooting it down onto the table here. Now I do have a piece of... Bristol board here as well, just to cut down on the glare a little bit. The crazy part is this pen becomes your input. It's really like having a giant Android tablet or phone. You see, like I can scroll through like that, back out of here, I've got, you know, a complete interface. This isn't as big as it could possibly get either, right? What happens for keying something in? It's a giant touchscreen, essentially. So I could be like, unbox therapy. Here's a recent video. And exactly like using the app on your phone, you can get rid of it like that. Now the nub, it clicks down like this and the click actually acts as the tap. It's gonna try to sense the location of it, map it using the camera on the device to register that click. The other thing is it has a built-in battery. So if you wanted to do like a movie night, take it into the backyard, broadcast it on the back of your house, See, this is actually how you calibrate the pen in there. Tap down, hold, tap down, hold. This is the true test right now. Oh, boy, boom! Woo! No! That's cool, right? Wow, that is such a strange sensation. It's it's really like drawing right on your table, but digitally. Uh oh, Jack's got a tail. <laughs> there you go. Become an artist. 